Hello everyone, it is me Mega Maniacs, and this isn't your usual Mega Maniacs video. We're doing a news video today. And today, uh, we are talking about probably the best LEGO Star Wars sets in years getting officially reviewed. Now, these are the Ahsoka So sets. The T6, Ahsoka's T6 Subtle. The Z-Wing and the Ghost and Phantom 2. And we're gonna take a look at all of these sets because they are some of the best sets I think I've seen in a long time. The first set we're gonna briefly talk about is set number 75367, the Ghost and Phantom 2. Since this was actually reviewed a little over a week ago now, but I mean, I figured we'd talk about all of the sets. This set is uh, very, very good. It has 1,394 pieces and retails for $160. This set is just very good. The OG Ghost is one of my big, like, white whale sets that I just never got back in the day. So, when I saw this set get reviewed, I pre-ordered it almost instantly. This is just such a good set. Such a set that I just love so much. It, 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 the minifigure selection, to be fair, is a little weak. I, as someone who's not really a big Rebels fan, I don't really care about it too much. I like uh, Hera and I like Sopper, but other than that, all of the other figures don't really interest me that much. Not to mention, uh, the builds are just fantastic. I actually say the build for the Ghost here is better than the first one. It just, all of the, like, the stickered elements are actually brick built now, and I feel like it just looks so much better. Plus, the Phantom 2 is actually included, something that wasn't included in the original Ghost. So, overall, this set is a really good value, very good. We, we compare it to the other $160 of the year, Yavin 4. The value is, you're just getting so much more value out of this set. Overall, I honestly rate this thing a 9 out of 10. Very good close second uh, to my favorite set of the year. The Ghost is second only to 75362, that being the Ahsoka's T6 Shuttle. This set is my favorite set of the year. I have the original T6 Shuttle, and this is so much better than I could have ever hoped for. For minifigures, this definitely has the best minifigure selection of the year. That being Ahsoka Tano, the best minifigure of the year so far for Star Wars. I think it's even better than the Bo-Katan minifigure we got in the Spider Tank. So, it it's fantastic. Uh, just arm printing, toe printing of all things. They went all out, even having a new uh, hair piece or whatever the thing is new one of those. I don't know why they didn't make it for the Clone Wars sets, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's cool. Not to mention Sabine in the set with Helmet. Huang, I don't know if that's how you say the name of that jury, but he's here too. Along with that Inquisitor fella who looks so cool. <laughs> it's great. Overall, the build for this set is very good. I think it looks better with that really nice maroon red stripe going through it. I think it's not too much because of the amount of gray that's also in there, but it's not like overwhelmingly gray to the point where it's just boring, you know? I feel like that maroon red just works so good. And $80, not gonna lie, I think for a lot of people that's gonna be a bit too much, but for me, with all of the new pieces, because the Inquisitor has a new piece, Huang has a new piece, and Ahsoka has new pieces. The only figure in the set that doesn't have a new piece is Sabine. So, I feel like the amount of effort they put into the minifigures, $80 for me is justified, but uh, I know for a lot of people it won't be. So, if you find the saw on sale, 100% buy it. This is going to be a day one buy for me, easy. The final set of the wave is the New Republic E-Wing versus uh, Sin Hades Starfighter, maybe? I don't know if that's how you say the villain's name, but it's here. This is uh, very, very similar to the uh, 
it's, it's very, very similar to the uh, High Interceptor versus Fang Fighter we got earlier this year. Kind of that uh, battle set with the two ships. But this set is actually very, very cool. And the E-Wing is a set that I didn't think we'd be getting, but here we are. The E-Wing is just, it, it, it's a very nice ship. I feel we've also gotten it before with the Jack 14 sets way back in the day. So that's kind of cool to see a remake of, to be fair. And the other villain ship is also very cool looking. But if I'm being honest, this set doesn't really appeal to me like the other two do. The other two have such a just great, like amazing build recognizable these are two pretty nice ships maybe i'll like them a lot more when these two comes out but for me i'm not very drawn to it but i'll probably buy it first day too just because the minifigures are also very good you get the two main villains along with that one lady from mandalorian season uh two in the ahsoka episodes so that's cool to see her back uh, along with a new republic pilot and astromech droid which makes me pr quite happy so i'll give this set like an 8 out of 10 it's it's pretty good overall to wrap my, up my thoughts these sets just these three outdo the entire august wave of star wars sets like tenfold i love all three of these sets so much and i'm actually probably gonna get these three instead of the gun sip which is something i usually don't say i usually always get the clone sets but this time I'm cool with stepping away from the gun tip and focusing on these three first day because they're just such so good. Tell me what you guys think about these three sets. Do you love them? Do you think they're mid or do you hate them? I don't know why you would hate these three. If, if you hate these three, maybe LEGO Star Wars just isn't for you. Thank you all for watching this video. See you all next time. Bye bye.